Welcome back to Luke Royal Motor Services. Today we're working on this 1968 Camaro Rally Sport. And uh, I've been tasked with upgrading the front suspension to uh, tubular arms and an adjustable coilover setup. So I'm getting the feeling that the customer's uh, had enough of the Firestone wide ovals. And he's going to move to something a little more street aggressive than the uh, vintage original look. So, let's get this thing on the rack and get to work. You guys want to see what I do with this thing? Stick around. Control arm ball joints disconnected. I need to compress my spring. Oh, that guy's not going to figure it out. Oh, you're being a bugger. Our old KYB gas adjust is removed. Let's compress our coil. Actually, before we compress our coil, we're going to make sure our ball joints are disconnected because we can use the spring pressure to help make this happen. Okay, both of them popped. Good deal. So, spring tension removal. Shields in the way.
Uh, control arm out. So we have the Alden American front coil rovers. They're a uh, single adjustable coil over unit. I'm going to go ahead and install these. Uh, it's kind of hard to compress a spring on these, so I put it in with the lower collar, the lower bushing, the top collar, and the nut to hold it in place until we get the can put the weight of the car on it. And when I get the weight of the car on it, I, I, I can compress the spring enough to get the upper bushing on. And uh, you know, it's just kind of putting the parts on when you can because you can use the uh, the weight of the vehicle to benefit you. Um, I do put some ATF on the bearing and on the uh, body. It has some uh, anti-seize on it. They do recommend using anti-seize on it or it will go. Alright, so the new coil over actually mounts to the top of the lower control arm. That way you're not holding up the uh, entire front weight of your vehicle with two bolts. That would, that would be bad. So these nuts that are welded into these arms need to be removed. And the holes are big enough for what we need for the final. Uh, on factory control arms, you drill them to 3 8 and, and you remove the, the J nuts. But here we have welded nuts, we got to remove those. So let me do that real quick with a grinder and uh, air, air hammer. setting I'm not hammering it down and trying to break bolts this car is gonna have a completely different attitude This one you can. The other side I had to knock the rear 
uh, control arm bolt out of its knurls. Don't spin those by the head. They are a, they're a knurl, they're a trap bolt. You'll make your alignment guy angry if those spin. At least it will annoy him. It annoys me. So these control arms have a few adjustments to them. Sometimes people aren't aware of. So these can interchange and go into different positions. You want them to be the same side to side. The bar itself can be offset. Uh, the one that sticks out is more negative camber. This one's less negative camber. Um, and then uh, obviously you can adjust it with shims as well. I'm going with the aggressive setting on this one just so that we can see where the baseline is. I'll probably be hopefully around one degree one degree negative camber, um, which is aggressive, but it makes it fun to drive. And that's what this is all about. This one, as I recall, they both have to go inboard. up my coil. Hopefully that didn't, uh, that's not going to mess with me. We'll see how that works out for me. It's a little easier to do that with a lower control arm hanging loose. running into technical difficulties with grease fittings. This may be a little more aggressive than what this fellow is looking for. The uh, lower control arms are a two inch drop. And the coil over says it's a one inch drop. So overall that's a three inch attitude adjustment. We're going to set it down, do a preliminary alignment, and let it, let it drive it for a week, and we'll double check the alignment after the coils have gotten their spring in. Let's see how it turns out. Got my lower's all greased up. ride and get the wheels turned. Let's get our toe to a baseline and then we will start over because it's a pretty whopper job. Alright, let's wrap this thing up. Uh oh, we got everything in there now. All our joints are greased up. Looks pretty good. I like the stance. We'll see if Mr. Customer likes the stance or if he wants it higher than where we have it. Got a nice tire stuff in the front. Such a clean car.
Now we'll figure out what we want to do in the back. Ooh, stainless steel tank. Shiny. This car is so nice. I don't even understand how you find a car this clean. But I am in, I do live in the Rust Belt, so. difference in how this car handles. Uh, I've got it pretty low. It might be able to go lower than this. I wouldn't want it any lower than what it is. Um, but it'll handle the roundabout without rubbing, bumps without rubbing. It, it handles roundabout like it's on rails. It's pretty impressive. This does have a big sway bar on it. Now it has the tubular control arms. Uh, I apologize the battery went dead. I just finished up the alignment because I, I just have to get out of here uh, like an hour ago. But I wanted this car to be done so we could go home. But I'm going to drive it, uh, probably give him about a week, have him come back. We'll double check the alignment after the springs have been in there for, with the weight of the car on it for a bit. Um, but, you know, little details, little things you got to do. Uh, this thing turned out great. In and out in a day. Upper control arms, lower control arms, coilover conversion. Uh, really nice coilover conversion. Uh, I, I like it. It's simple. It works. It really changes the attitude of how this car drives and handles. So I highly recommend it. We'll see uh, what he thinks of it and how it works in the long run. And we'll keep you informed on how it is. At any rate, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. You guys have a safe day out there. We'll see you on the next one.